Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog. Today we're doing part two of the PO Box opening where we will be opening, I think there are 10 more pieces of mail. There we go. <laughs> um, so a little while ago I opened, I think I opened 11 pieces of mail, but I actually picked up 21. So today we're going to open the second half which I think should be 10 more pieces of meal. I have to admit that is a lot for one video, but we're just gonna make it work. I will try and share everything in detail without going too long, because these videos can get very, very long, as you guys know, but I also know that you guys enjoy that a lot, so I'm trying to find the perfect middle ground. So I'm going to open all of these. Today we have some very exciting countries. We have Ireland again, we have the USA, we have Belgium, we have USA again, we have Sweden, we have Australia, USA again, England, we have Germany, and we have a new one which is Russia. So that's very cool. We're going to open all of these today. As you can see, I already opened a bunch of them because I don't know. <laughs> Opening me was too much fun. I sometimes need a little pick me up and then I will just go in and look at what you guys have sent me. But there's also plenty in here. That is still a surprise because I kind of like that surprise element in my videos. So we're just going to open these randomly. I will tell you that I have replied to a lot of people in between the last video and this one, but my phone is charging, so I think I will just put a little voiceover or something in. Okay, so I have replied to Anna from Spain, Jeannie from Australia, Sasha from the United States, Elaine from the USA, then Stephanie from the USA again and Kristen also from the USA. I have replied to many many more but I will include those in the next video. I'm going to dig straight in. I do want to put one more disclaimer because um, I have a lot of new subscribers. I actually passed 5,000 subscribers which is really 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 cool but I have been receiving a couple questions because not everyone has been here from the start or from when I got my PO box. And one of those things that happened on Instagram, because for some reason people on Instagram are different than the people on YouTube, although there are many the same. Someone got upset with me once again. No, not really, um, I'm overreacting. But basically she said that she will be sending me a letter and she would be uh, upset if I didn't reply to her. But I kindly told her that that is not how this works. I receive a lot of mail and I have made a commitment to replying to as many as possible, but I will not be replying to everyone. That's not because I don't want to, because obviously I would love to, but that's simply because I cannot reply to everyone. I would have to work on mail full time and that's not really where the fun is for me. It's about quality, not quantity. And also, um, I get a little bit anxious <laughs> when I have to create a lot of things for a lot of people. So I uh, randomly pick meals to reply to each month. And then I sometimes write a letter. Sometimes I will create a little happy meal, such as this one, which I'm currently working on finishing. It's on my filming table because I just finished filming it and I'm working on the letter. As you can see, this is a fall themed meal. I'm not gonna show too much of a sneak peek. I just saw it laying there. I thought I would show you. So sometimes it's big, sometimes it's small, sometimes it'll be a postcard. And occasionally I will uh, make a whole happy meal. So it's a little bit random, but I want you guys to know that there's like full transparency. There's a big chance that I cannot reply to you. And if you're okay with that, then I would be super happy to receive mail from you. If you're not okay with that, I suggest looking for pen pals. That's better. So there's once again my disclaimer. And now, oh, Sage, are you going to sleep on my lap? Aren't you a cutie? Aren't you a cutie? Good night. Uh, Mm. So without further ado, I'm going to open the first meal. Oh, you're so adorable. This one is from Germany. 
This is from Raffaella from Germany. She has this very colorful cute little envelope and she decorated it with really adorable stickers such as this little Happy Moon one and she picked some of the floral stamps. I would say that they are my favorite but the uh, Germany has so many fun stamps I cannot really pick. And then I also see this on the back which says Ilona Illustrations. I wonder if that's her or just the sticker she used. Oh, she's launching a shop. Wait, how do I open this? <coughs> it says Happy Mail. I think I have to cut that open. So it's like a little purse card and she included a ton of stickers for me. And then on the back is her, what is this called? Business card, I guess? Yeah, her, she has an Etsy store. An Etsy store, it's called Ilona Illustrations. I will try and find that and link it down below. Very cool business card. She says, Dear Vivian, here comes my happy mail with some stickers of mine. I would love to see them on your mail art pieces. Please tag me at Ilona Illustrations. Shop launch 23rd of September. And then she has some stickers. So I'm going to... Sometimes people contact me on Instagram to ask if it would be okay that they send me their original pieces, which is of course very, very cool. I like it when it's like individual small designers like she is with her own artwork. I don't really like promoting big stores. This is fun. Sage, this is so inconvenient. Can you please? You can go on my lap or you can go on the table, but not on the, on the meal, okay? Okay, on my lap then. Go. Go. Yeah, sure, take your time. Okay, so, well, from what I can see, these are all sticker flakes and this little uh, sticker sheet. Hello. Give me some time, little lady. We've got a sticker sheet with beautiful butterfly illustrations. Very pretty in black and white. Let's see. Oh no, I think this might be. Actually, I'm trying to lift up some of the stickers and they're not fully coming off. Okay, I'll just, I'll try to cut them out individually and then use them because, like, look, if I try to lift it up, I damage the stickers. Sage, are you for real? Really, you need that much attention? How am I gonna open the mail then? How am I gonna open the mail? Can I move you to the other side? Maybe, maybe I can move to the other side. Jesus. I know a lot of you guys are cat lovers as well, but sometimes when I make mail for a video, she also does this, and I'm always afraid that the, the receiver of the mail is going to be upset that my cat was all over <gasps> the happy mail I sent their way. So we have these... Are you... She's Now she's stealing stuff from my trash can. So we have these individual... Um, I think these are also sticker flakes, or is this... An illustration. I don't know. These are either die cuts or stickers from girls. I already know two pen pals I'm going to share these with. So we've got all of these in black and white. And then we've got some kind of magic y items as well. We've got these gemstones, we've got a girl, we've got a an owl candle, and all different little cocktail icons and bicycles. So that's very cute. Thank you very much for sending that to me. And we have this one, which I think is a magazine clip out. Oh no, oh, this is also her business card. Your business cards are really, really cool. <laughs> when you support a small business, you support a dream. Save 10% off your next order. <laughs> I don't know if I should be reading that out loud. So, good luck with your Etsy store. I would love to design my own stickers, but I simply not good at that. <laughs> Oh, I have a question regarding Etsy stores. I have a question for you guys. I used to have an Etsy store for selling hair ties. Do I have one in? I do actually have one in. Look, this these kind of hair ties. Um, I mainly use the black ones because that's just convenient. But I make these... What are they called? Like elastic hair ties. I... Uh, cut and wrap them myself and then I sell them. I used to sell them on an Etsy store I haven't done that in a while because it's a lot of work for very little reward, but I'm trying to save money again for a Daylight lamp and I was wondering if I would temporarily reopen my Etsy store to kind of 
help fund my uh, filming equipment, would you guys be interested in purchasing some pair ties? If yes, let me know in a comment down below. If no, of course, also feel free to let me know. I just want to see if there's like enough, if people are interested enough, because the downside of having an Etsy store is that you also have to pay to list things. So it would be kind of sad if I had to pay to put listings up and no one would end up want to buy them. So that's why I'm kind of checking, but mm, we will see. And then this one is from Jane. Funny thing is, of course I recognize it by the fact that the stamps are from Ireland because I rarely get mail from Ireland, if not from Jane. But I'm also starting to recognize her handwriting. I'm getting really good at that. So first of all, she has some new stamps for me, which is really cool. That sound you hear in the background is Sage, who is now playing with something she picked from the trash. We've got some really cool stamps. I especially love this green one with Megarolin Glass Irish Irish Orchid on it, which looks very, very cool. But I actually quite like all of them. So I'm definitely gonna cut them out and save them. I cannot flip this over because I did not cover up her address, but I did already cut it open. Cut it open. Wow, why did I s speak so funnily just now? Hello? Uh-oh. And Jane is like uh, a regular in my wow, a regular in my PO box, and she always sends me the biggest, most incredible pieces of mail you could possibly imagine. I'm just going to pop the letter back because that is, of course, private. But we're just going to look at what she has sent me today. Okay, so we've got this whole bundle of paper. First of all, the paper clip, which is very, very adorable. It's a pink bar on a paper clip, which. I don't know, it just makes me happy. And then she held everything together by using a bobby pin, which is super smart and kind of flat. That's a clever way of putting things together. And then in here is a bunch of... Oh, oh, I didn't realize this actually has a backside as well. Oh, the backside is actually very, very me. Front side is cute, but the back is really cool. We've got this succulent design. I really, really think I should be doing another cactus themed meal because also Louisa has been sending, sending me so much cactus themed stuff. I really feel like I should. Oh, what's this? And then these are all sort of sentiments like on your special day, best wishes, relax on your special day, sister, mother, man, grand, dad. And this could be used for making cards or decorating envelopes. And we've got some really pretty six by six paper. This is very, Oh, it's actually two, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we've got this kind of watercolory look paper. Very pretty. I really like that lavender design. We've got some more. Got this vintage one with like vintage images. I already know Pen Pal that is going to love that. And we've got this one with kind of a almost Moroccan like design. So fun, it's like treasure chests. And I think we've got some postcards here. This is a pretty paper again. And then, oh, some vintage postcards. Vintage looking, I think they are not actually vintage, but I, I really like to give things a name for some reason, I don't know why. We've got one with, it looks like sugar cane. Is that sugar cane? Yeah, sugar cane stems and oranges, I think. Tangerine orange. I've been, I kind of collect postcards, like I always get excited buying new postcards, receiving new postcards, and then I, I end up forgetting to use them. So I really think I have to find a way to use these somehow. Sage is still playing. She's coming closer to the rest of the meal, so I have to keep an eye on her. Now we've got a map. She also sent me this as decoration on top of her previous meal, so I immediately recognized that. It's like a, um, like a tourist map. Things to see and do in Kilkenny. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Maybe I will visit one day. And then we've got a very adorable, um, what am I saying? Envelope. Oh, is this, mat is this matching letter writing paper? Oh my God, it is. <gasps> oh, I love that. So we've got a little letter writing set, which always makes me happy. I don't know why. Things that match, that just clicks in my head when things match, just makes me happy. <laughs> So there's that, and then I see another set, I think, yeah, oh, with little doggies on them. Hope you guys can see, it's kind of faint, a uh, little blue doggy design. That's adorable, I know so many people who are big dog fans, so this will come in handy. 
Then we've got more paper and some tissue paper, which would actually be very nice for Christmas. And we've got this adorable, um, what's this called? Alarm clock, I guess? Alarm clock postcard, which will again look cute as a little gift or decoration. And we've got this die cut that says greetings. So wow, I cannot wait to read your letter, Jane. And I'm going to have fun playing with all of these pretty papers. I'm now trying to put it back neatly into the envelope. Next one, this one. Vivian at the Paper Letter Blog, your handwriting is incredible. This one is, oh, this one is from Kimberly from the USA. Look at that washi tape. Absolutely adorable. And here is a flip book for me. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, first of all, kind of obsessed with your decorating. I see that she also used that paper here. Very pretty. And she has a hello die cut, which I always love. And it's actually an accordion folder. Yay! That always makes me so happy. So it looks like a flip book. It's actually a little folder. And what is very, very clever is that she used magazine paper for the pockets. I think that's very smart. I always use vintage book pages, but any page that you wouldn't normally save comes in very handy when you make one of these. I also really like the die cuts you use for decorating. Let's just see what is in all of these pockets. First of all, we have... I'm also trying to read the magazine. <laughs> we have... Oh, some handmade postcards. That one art blogger on Instagram. I guess that's you. That's so cool. So she has like a postcard. I think this is a stamp. This card hand stamped by Kim. That is cute. And then these are all like postcards. Actually, what I want to do is I, I keep joining these swaps on Swapbot. I'm so sorry. They're only in our Dutch Swapper group because you kind of need the same people to join each time. But what you do is you work on one postcard with three or four people. So one person makes the background, the next person makes the next element, and then the last person finishes it. Look, I, I don't have a finished one yet because I only just started, but this is one that I recently received. So this is the background, and then I'm going to add something on top of that to kind of continue. It's called a teamwork postcard. It's really, really fun. And that makes me think of this. Like what I want to do is use these beautiful postcards and do something with them myself to kind of continue. And we can work together on this postcard, which would actually be really, really fun. So that's the first thing that comes to mind when I see these. Okay. Next, this, mm, is this your letter? Sage, are you for real? Sleep. Go on and sleep. Okay, what is in here? I'm so curious about all of these pockets. Oh, this is actually, oh, this is actually a, a card she made. Well, you must have some really pretty stamps. It says, you are mermazing. And then on the inside, we also have a little turtle, which is absolutely adorable. Created by Kim, that one art vlogger. So you must make like a whole lot of, um, cards and stuff. That's so cool. I wonder if you also have an Etsy store. Quite probably. We have another one. Oh, that's also nice. A very colorful one. I think she was who handmade this. Yep, definitely. Just a little note for a wonderful friend. And it's embossed and everything. So nice. I really like the background as well. So that's a nice little card I could send. Very pretty. Like I, I actually, I haven't, I don't really share this, but I actually watch a lot of those card makers on YouTube because they always have such satisfying combinations of inks and blending and the stress oxides and everything. It actually gets me really inspired, but I never really make postcards myself. And these seem to be some die cuts. Oh, pretty some embossed paper mm -hmm. gonna see the world oh some of these you also use some tags 
Very nice. Oh, there we go. Look. This hello is actually from there. That's so clever. She has like the shadow die and then she also has this die and then she actually... How the hell do I say this? I don't know what I'm trying to say. She actually die cut. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I've never actually done that before, but I really like that. What I'm trying to say is that normally you would die cut this one word and then the background die, but instead she actually die cut the hello from the background so that you have this white in the middle of the green. I hope that makes sense. I actually think that's very clever. I never thought to do that. And then these hearts, oh, they're so cute. And look, this is what I mean. This is the background die, this, the shadow die, and then this would be, not in this case, wait. I'm confused now. How many hello dies do you have? <laughs> look, that's what it would normally look like, I think. I'm confused, but it looks really, really cool. So we've got some, oh, this is actually mixed media butterflies. That is cool. I think she actually dyed this paper herself. And then some postcard notepaper. Really cool. So a whole pocket filled with a dozen dies. Die cuts, I guess. Where was I? Okay, this always happens. I get up to change the battery and someone steals my chair. How often am I gonna have to film this before it changes? <laughs> okay, are you gonna go on my lap then? You're gonna go on my lap. Come here. Oh, you stop yourself. Uh, uh, don't attack me. Sleep. Sleep. Ow. Um, so, I actually reached the last pocket, which is her letter. But I just saw that there's also some washi tape samples in here. It's a really cute washi tape samples. We've got cat little cat washi types and we've got these beautiful botanical ones very very nice so that's in the last pocket and then that's it beautiful i thank you so much kimberly i am again i say this all the time i guess you guys know it by heart but i'm gonna put it on the to reply pile and maybe one day i'll get to write back to you let's see what is the next one i grab I want to have one that I have not opened yet, but I have to admit I already opened so many. I don't know if there's any left. This one. I've not opened this one yet. This one is from Ariana in Belgium. She has written to me twice before. I have replied to her twice as well. And then she sent me this, which actually got lost in the mail. So both of us were very worried. But then after I think two months, it was returned to her. Although Belgium is like less than a day away from the Netherlands. So... Uh, usually mail from there to here takes two days or something so it being lost for so many weeks was a little bit scary but at last it's here so she wrapped it again put it in a new envelope and we're now going to <laughs> we're now going to open it together it starts with the second time the the right time she wrote on there in Dutch and she wrapped it with this pretty tissue paper and so impatient <laughs> she would she makes the prettiest things so i was very curious to see what is in here oh my gosh it's actually a mini album <gasps> wow that looks so professional it's a, an album i think and it says what a lovely die oh my god that is so cool Ooh. oh what a nice what a nice layout it's actually envelopes so what she did is she kind of laminated a cover she kind of laminated the the how do you call this the cover the book cover and then inside she put all of these envelopes on strings and then the string is wrapped held together at the back of this little journal that is such a lovely idea I've never seen this before, I've never thought of making this, but I'm definitely going to try my hand at this myself. Oh my god, Ariana, you so totally spoiled me. I'm just going to start with one pocket at a time. These envelopes are also absolutely beautiful. 
We start with the first one that says cards. I don't want to tear the sticker, but I'm going to open it. And she messaged me saying that someone had opened all of the envelopes in her mail, but everything was still in there. So that is so confusing. Someone from the mail office or something. Ooh, these are pretty. So these are like, I think she cut these herself, little journaling cards from the same paper she used. Really nice. And then we also have these. That is pretty. I love how these match the paper. Although maybe they are from the same store or something. Bluebell. Oh, that's so pretty. They look vintage, but I actually think they're not. They just look really, really cool. Really like that. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Oh my gosh. Does anyone know what this paper, like what, what, what brand that is? Oh, there's something on the back as well. It's a little ve vellum, en vellum envelope. Vellum envelope. And it's right open it. Oh, I see some dots, some enamel dots. How do I get them out? Oh, look at that. Oh wait, oh, there's a lot. <gasps> oh, she sent me some of the dots. I'm gonna call them dots, but I think one of them got loose. She sent me some of the dots she used that also match this paper. That is so clever. She's kind of sending me a little, a little Happy Meal kit. I think I'm also supposed to lift this. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Oh, there's a lot in this pocket again. There's a lot. We have this little gift bag with all of these vellum stickers. She looks really pretty. See some butterflies. <gasps> oh, we've got a little bookmark. A golden bookmark for collection. That's pretty, pretty design. And then we have these mini doilies, which are absolutely adorable. <laughs> she also used one here. That is so nice. I love how you managed to find all of these things, all of these things that match together so perfectly. And then the next one says tea, which is always good. Ooh, oh, that's such a coincidence. Ginger and lemongrass. I actually recognize this brand because once has and I stayed in a bed and breakfast and they also had this brand. It feels so luxurious because it, it's tea in a little envelope. I mean, how adorable is that? Absolutely adorable. I've never tried this flavor, but I'm already excited. And then, oh, something on the back here. <gasps> what is this? What a pretty little paper clip. That's so pretty. And then also a lot of die cuts and stickers in here. Oh, I'm so spoiled. So that one. So pretty. some envelopes that is so pretty got the letter which I'm of course going to save for last oh and there's something on the back here as well <gasps> oh that's pretty she made these little embellishments for me from flowers layered flowers very very pretty Wow, this is so cool. I'm definitely going to put this up for display. And I'm going to make one of these myself. I think I'll call it an envelope album. Because of what she did is she, or at least what I think she did, is she made these envelopes herself. And before actually gluing them together, she put some, um, some thread through the bottom. And then she put all of the thread together and it makes this little cute little booklet. I'm so going to do that. Thank you so much for first of all sending me this but also for the lovely inspiration Ariana. That's incredible. 
And I cannot wait to read your letter. And Sage is, of course, back. Because something crinkles in whenever I'm excited about something. She has to come and see why. But this one from Australia. This one is from, let me check, Henna. And she picked some incredible stamps. We've got Hop on Pop. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks kind of cute. And a balloon one. And then these beautiful scenery ones. Robertson's Point and Hornby. I think I've actually been there. That, the lighthouse looks very familiar, but probably all lighthouses look the same. To Vivian from the Hippie Letter blog. So adorable. Oops. Oh, there's a candy in here. We've got grape gummy candy. I have not tried that yet. And we have the letter, which I will read afterwards. We've got a cute little gift bag. We've got some stickers and a postcard. Oh, a kitty postcard. That's adorable. I think I have to hang that up. That's me. We only have two cats, but that is totally me. Because this would be Sage on my lap, and then this would be Noos, who would be angry because Sage is on my lap. They're still not friends, sadly. They're, I mean, sometimes they get along okay, where they will be within a meter of each other without fighting. But very often they still fight, which is kind of sad because I love both of them so much. I want them to be friends. And also, as you guys can probably tell in the videos, Sage has taken over a lot of things that Noose used to do. So Noose used to visit me during these videos and now Sage does that. Sage will be here with me all the time. So Noose does not actually want to be here anymore. But sometimes at night, Noose will still be in my craft room, which is a good thing. Because as much as I love Sage, I don't want to ruin the traditions I have with Noose either. Hmm? And now we're just going to open this cute little envelope. If Sage lets me. Carefully. Ooh, there's a lot of goodies in here. Okay, it's very difficult with one hand, but some stickers. Oh, these are really cute. Look at all of these cats. Look at all these cats, Sage. For you, I hope you like it. That's so cute. We like it, don't we, Sage? We like everything. So thank you <laughs> for that lovely letter. I will... I think I'm just gonna try and continue with the next letter because she, she doesn't look like she's moving anytime soon. Okay, wait, stay there. Don't move then. No, open it, no, please. No, oh, come here. Okay. We're just gonna move on to the next one. If Sage lets us. This one is from Mrs. Sarah from the United States. I did already open it. But I don't think I actually looked at what was inside. No, I didn't. Because when I opened it, I found another envelope. The thing, I decided to leave it closed because it looks so nice. Because on here, we've got, once again, we've got an envelope with her return address and my address on here. But this stamp, I'm actually fairly certain this stamp is English instead of um, Australia, American, I should say. So I think that her happy meal is actually made to look like a an actual envelope which is such a clever idea did i open this oh i did open this yes okay i lied i did open a piece of this because there's tea in here and i could smell that and i was kind of curious to see which teas she sent me so she sent me green tea kombucha decaf i have never tried kombucha tea someone tell me if it's good or not i'm very 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 curious and we've got sweet cinnamon spice I'm fairly, I'm like 99% sure I also got sweet cinnamon spice a little while ago from Beck and it was really good. So I'm going to put that in my personal stash. And then we also have a little water type sample, which is adorable little bicycles. And some of these vintage looking die cuts. I think you guys really want me to make a vintage themed meal again. <laughs> because I keep getting sent all of these vintage items. I think I should, I think I should. And then we have this envelope, which I'm just going to... Open. Completely decorated and embossed and 
It even has a little wax seal on the back from a bee. And when we open it, okay, I'm just going to cut this. I don't want to cut the entire envelope, so I'm just going to cut the side of the washi tape. Yes, and inside are some more goodies. Okay, inside is her letter, so I'm going to leave that in there. And, wait, is this her letter? Oh my god, I can see some decoration. Some more goodies. We've got a very funny little bird. We've got some stickers, some reward stickers. And we've got a very vintage puzzle page, I actually think. A very vintage word search, just for fun, it says. That's actually too pretty to use, I'm th I mean, to fill in. I'm very sure I'm just going to use that for decorating <laughs> because that looks really cool. So, thank you so much to Sarah. I cannot wait to read your letter. And I really, like every time I open all of this meal, I really tell myself I'm going to try and work harder and make more meal. As you can hear, by the way, I'm a little bit sick, but make more meal because I really want to reply to as many of you as possible, but then I know it's not possible, it's just, ah, I wish I could reply to every one of you. And then some people are going to say, I can reply to everyone and I should reply to everyone, but sending out a postcard is not me. I want to make it personal. I want to show you guys that I care and I prefer quality over quantity, of course. Mm. So I have to let it go, but it does get hard when you guys send me such amazing things. I'm just going to grab the next one. Okay, I want to show you guys this one from Anne. I actually, she actually sent me an email and I realized now that I have not replied to it yet, but she made a design on here with, um, with the stress oxides. And she emailed me to say that she made the design. I think it's with the stress oxides. And then sadly they covered it up with the postage sticker. But I actually think that I'm not entirely sure. I thought I would ask you guys before I attempt anything, but isn't it true that you can lift these kind of stickers with steam? So I was thinking of trying to, what are you doing? <laughs> trying to open it with steam or maybe even a blow dryer or something to see if I could open or to see if I could lift out because I would like to see what she made for me, but the rest of the meal is also very, very cool. So just, we have this whole design on the back which luckily did not get covered up only by me. I've got all of these little cute little clouds. I'm fairly certain she also made these herself. And then she surrounded her return address with this adorable little floral design. And this one that says you've got happy mail, which is so cute. So you're making a whole lot of noise. People are not going to be able to hear me if you're purring so loudly. So inside, I did already open this, but I promise you that I only read the letter and I tried not to look at the goodies too much. But inside we have this adorable, um, what is this called? Like bakery uh, greeting card and her letter. But I have to be careful not to show too much of the letter. Okay, I can show like this. Her letter is on the card and on this colorful paper. And then we have a little treat bag. <laughs> and that is what I actually did not look at. I'm just going to take it out and then close it because of per personal information. But I have not actually looked at the treat bag. So we're going to do that together. But as soon as I saw this, like without even looking at the, um, the postage or without looking at the return address, I re immediately recognized the handwriting as being from Anne. And she has reached out to me a couple of times and it always makes me really happy to hear how she has been and her husband Gary, of course. So I kind of, I don't know, I just got home and I really wanted to read the letter. So I did. And then I promised myself I would keep this closed to also keep the little surprise element in there. First of all, the washi type she used is very pretty. Ah, sorry for my voice. Got a treat bag to use in your outgoing meal. Okay, there you go. So we've got some die cuts, I think. Got some die cuts. We've got a little felt. That's cute. A little felt text bubble. We've got some tags. Oh, these would be cool for like Halloween themed meal. 
Oh, that's another question people have been asking me if I will be doing Halloween themed mail. And the answer is no, because as much as I admire other people who make Halloween themed mail, it's not really my thing. Um, the color scheme is not really me, like the brown, the, I mean the orange and the black, that's just not really me. And I don't really like spooky things. Halloween is not really my thing. I know in like the USA and all, it's very, very big, but in the Netherlands, it's barely a thing actually. And I don't know, I'm very, very easily scared. So I don't like scary, I don't like spooky. So I'm not going to be doing Halloween themed mail, but I know that there's a ton of YouTubers who have like a Halloween themed month. So if you like Halloween themed Happy Meal, I really recommend you go, uh, you check out one of them because although I'm not going to be doing that, there's a ton of videos on the YouTubes. So, and has a little sidestep <laughs> and has sent me all of these be the type of person you want to meet. The sticker which looks very cool. And then, what is this? The little treat bag. I'm just going to open this somehow. I actually feel very sick, I don't know why. I hope it gets better because I have to work again on Saturday and Sunday. It's like... Um, it looks like she individually wrapped all of these, which is absolutely adorable. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to cut this open because me and my patients, not really a great combination. I don't know, I, I want to cut it open, but I don't want to damage it. That's adorable. Oh my god, that is adorable. It's like a little felt uh, mushroom paper fit. That is so adorable. That's so adorable. Oh my gosh. Is this a cat paw? It looks a lot like a cat paw. Can I get this out? Oh, it is. It's like a little cat paw. A little, it's actually a sticker. What is this called again? This is not felt, this is foam. I don't know. It's, oh, that's adorable. I have a thing for cat paws, okay? The Sage knows this because I keep touching hers. That's so cute, Anne. Thank you so much. Like I said, I did already read your letter, but I might read it again. <laughs> and I'm, of course, Yep, I think I should just put a recording here saying I'm going to put it on the to reply file because I say that all the time. <laughs> so thank you so much for your kindness and I'm sorry I didn't reply to your email. I actually kind of totally forgot, but I hope you know that your mail arrived safely. And you guys have to let me know if you know a way how I can uh, kind of get this sticker off because I would like to see what is beneath it. One, two, three more, if I'm not mistaken. Could that be right? I guess so. I think that should be right. Um, we have three more. Let's see, this one from the USA. This is from Madison. Madison, I did look at this one already quite a while ago. So she made me this flip with a lot of recycled material. She wrote that in her letter, which is very, very cool. So we have this flip book. I think she said that she thrifted a lot, which is quite impressive, She the items she has. Because for example, this paper she wrote the letter on, that is so cool, <laughs> it looks really, really vintage. This is her letter, her letter, stuff inside the pocket, oh yeah, she made this kind of um, no-tie pocket flip book, I should say. So in here we have a mixed media decorated tag, very cool. And she made me all of these stamps and we have some all other dimensional elements I could be using for decorating, which is also very cute. I really like this, it's like all of these little pockets I can open. We have this, I think this is ribbon. It reminds me a little bit of that, like the airmail type stripe. I know that's a different color, but that is cool. And then we have a washi, like, washi type and ribbon sample on a tag. She cut me these 
from Vintage Books, which I'm going to use for collaging. And then she, oh, I'm so sorry for my voice. I keep getting, I keep feeling more and more sick. So I hope I'm not actually going to be sick. Uh, and then she has these paint chip cards for me from these beautiful color combinations, which I quite like. Also great for decorating again. Let's see. And then here on the back, we have a postcard, which is, I actually think I have seen this particular uh, image in real life. A vase of flowers. See Margaretha Haverman. She's Dutch. I'm actually fairly certain I might have seen this. Or at least I'm, I'm like 99% sure I have seen similar works of this artist in Amsterdam. So that's very cool. We've got a little uh, big postcard I could use to send to one of you guys. So very, very cool. And this also is a great example of all of the things you can do with uh, thrifted or secondhand items or with I'm making another of those crafting without craft supplies videos. When this video goes up, that video should already be online. And whenever I see a flip book like that, I just immediately get all of these ideas. Hmm. Okay, then we have this one from Sweden. Did this one not have a return address or was it inside? I don't actually remember. But first of all, the stamp, so cute. And then we have a decorated envelope. Whoa. She sent this around a month and a half ago. I don't know if it was on its way for so long or if... Yes, okay, no, no, no. I said it wrong. Don't worry, Sarah. Your return address was on the envelope, but it was like a sticker that I could easily peel off. So instead of covering it up, I just peeled the sticker off and I put it on the inside of the envelope. So I do have her return address. I just put it inside the envelope and that is also why I cut it open so that I could put the return address in and haha <laughs> I now know and she has this pretty oh, I like this sticker pretty envelope and inside is a whole lot of things let's see we have the letter which I will save for later we have some tea oh my god I love that sticker happy meal and then the mailbox oh my gosh I need to save that can I save that or am I gonna damage it? I need to save that. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna take a peek at the tea. Oh, that smells so nice. I smell cinnamon, chocolate chili. What? That's not cinnamon. And inner harmony. Herb and spice. Infusion. I'm like 99% sure there has to be a cinnamon in here somewhere. So we've got Choco Chili and Inner Harmony. I actually know my mom is a very big fan of this specific tea, but I've always been too afraid to try it because chili in your tea. But I am going to give it a try just to see if I like it. And then we have a cute little washi tape sample. That's adorable. This is perfect for Valentine. And this is perfect for some vintage mail. Really nice. My, my, I filmed for half an hour already. What was I doing before I got caught off? I forgot. So thank you for all of these incredible goodies. Tea smells really, really nice. I'm going to read your, cam your camera off letter. What am I saying? I think I need a nap. I'm going to read your letter off camera, <laughs> Sarah. And hopefully I'll get it right back to you in the future. This last piece of meal, which is this one from Russia. This one is from Angelica. I did already read the letter and she asked me to call her Anne, I'm fairly certain. I did already open this. Um, so, from Russia. Very cool. I'm going to save these, half of them for myself, half of them for my neighbor. And it's decorated with this very pretty vintage botanical paper. And also, this logo sticker looks very, very professional. I wonder if you made that yourself. I guess, why am I saying that my address is on there? Just like someone sells stickers with my address on the video. Um, and inside, we have this beautiful, beautiful kind of tag. It's a tag flip book, but 
a very very different one and i'm also going to use this idea for myself again i love getting inspired by you guys' mail so what she did is she created an actual flip book with tags i think that's so cute so it has like a little bit of a fall color scheme which i really like very pretty and then on the inside are, it is a ton of grease also this little tuck spot so cute for a washi type sample we have a oh my gosh And last but not least is this beautiful vintage postcard um, that she decorated on the back of, which is such a clever idea. It says to Vivian, which is so pretty. So wow, I feel super spoiled Anne and everyone else. It's kind of funny we have two ends in this one video. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry for my silence in the end, but I'm starting to feel really, really sick. <laughs> So I hope to feel better soon. Um, but I got a ton of inspiration and I hope you guys did too. That's what these videos are all about. Kind of finding, oh my God, I did not even realize this sticker sheet has its snail mail on it. That's adorable. Kind of finding new ideas, seeing how other people create, seeing how we all have our individual styles and that is what makes this hobby so fun. I am going to enjoy looking through this a little bit more. I made a big mess, which is not what I usually do, but I guess it makes sense because look at all of the mail I received. It's kind of insane. But um, like I said, I have been creating kind of a lot of mail the past few weeks. I mailed two PO Books replies out yesterday, which was really, really fun. And I'm hoping to create a lot more the upcoming weeks but i have been feeling a sick and be overwhelmed because i work a little bit more now but hopefully in november everything should go back to normal so <sighs> have a little patience with me okay i'm gonna cut this off now because oh i need a nap and i hope you guys are feeling better than i am i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you again very soon. Okay, bye-bye.